yeah. You slap him, Tanjiro. All right, so there are a few things I'm looking forward to hopefully finding out in today's episode. One is who is the Long Tashiro's crush? I'm glad that you guys didn't spoil it for me. So far, I think I, I'm pretty sure it's not Tengen, and I'm pretty sure it's, it wasn't Rengoku. And as for the rest, I think I'll be able to narrow it down as I meet more of the Hashira, and really excited to see what the Miss Hashira's personality is like. He seems very chill, very calm, but we'll see. So today we're heading into Demon Slayer, Source in the Village Arc, Season 3, Episode 2. Okay, I'm so confused right now. I guess it's confirmed. Maybe he's some sort of model of who the first um, Upper Moon is. Is this some sort of robot, puppet going on? I don't think that's right. Okay, my first impression of the Miss Hashira is so far not great. Oh, I can't wait for the fight scenes. He's blunt and a little bit rude. ほら、あなたが悪い子みたいだね。何人死ぬと思っているわけ。柱の時間と君たちの時間は全く価値が違う。棚火事は戦えない。火を作るしか脳がないから。わお。I when even a saint like Tanjiro can't stand you, you know you're a jerk. You tell him. Agreed. Don't devalue it. I'm really disappointed with the Miss Hashira so far. I understand his time's important. He's out here trying to save lives. I get it. But he's a grown human being, okay? He's not a child. So for him to be smacking around other kids younger than him, I'm not a big fan. I'm really not. Especially the way he devalues a swordsmith. Who was that? <laughs> so he's been here the whole time. Tiger is such an agreeable and very likable human. Oh, so maybe it's just a replica. Oh, so maybe it's just a replica. But why keep it locked up then if it's so useful? How does Tanjiro somehow have visions of the swordsman and his dad having the conversation? Oh, never mind, not his dad. His great 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 grandfather. My first impression was that this crow is so adorable. Even her voice sounds adorable. But the way she's speaking, she's either a super fan of the Miss Hashira or she is his assistant crow or helper crow. Because her manner of speaking, the attitude might be a little bit different, but the overall sentiment of blunt arrogance is the same. I knew it. Hmm. So if that warrior is the one that taught Tanjiro's dad, well, no, Tanjiro's great-great-great-granddad, the sun-breathing moves, and that's the dance that Tanjiro saw his dad do because it's been passed on. And maybe that same swordsman was later killed by Muzan and turned into Upper Moon One. But that same swordsman also inspired the swordsmith village people to make this puppet. That's what I'm getting from this. And at first I was curious about, okay, 
if that's really the history of Upper Moon One, why hasn't anyone connected the dots? But then I realized, probably because he's Upper Moon One, that anyone who's ever seen him has probably passed away or been killed. So no one could actually bring the news back and tell someone about it. This kid is so bright. He's already connected that. Oh. I have mixed emotions about what the Miss Hashira just did. Because on one hand, I think he sees it as, you know, you have a resource to train and training would help him save more lives. So why wouldn't he use it? So I get that. But at the same time, it's this kid's only remaining item left from his entire family. And it's something that can never be replaced or fixed. So I do feel for him as well. Because we're going to sniff him out. Tanjiro personality wise and I guess sense of smell wise is exactly like a puppy. Those are such wise words from Tanjiro. You have to try your hardest now for your future self 5, 10, 20 years down the line. Uh, I feel that. Sometimes there are certain goals in life that I feel, like feel very far away and very unreachable. But if I think about it, that type of mindset of, you know what, it feels hard now, but I'm trying for my future self. Somehow it feels like some of the pressure is kind of lifted a little bit. Tadra has such strong, I feel like unshakable faith. Like he has such a clear focus on his purpose, and I admire that a lot. You just met him what, a minute ago. I understand he can't be arrogant, he can't be confident because he's Hashira, because he's got the skills, all that. Totally get it. When it's necessary, he needs to train, he needs to take the item and resource to train. Yeah, that makes sense. Did he need to toss the broken sword at Tanjiro and just be like, I don't remember who you are, I'm the Reach's Net 5 plus girl, but here, toss it for me. I don't like him. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You're telling me as a Hashira, he couldn't spare an extra 15 seconds of his time to try and put it in a box neatly, or at least put it in one spot and not like this. When he knows how much it means to the kid. Yeah, I don't like him. I'm sorry for you guys who are fans of the Miss Hashira. He, he's ranking low on my likable characters list. <laughs> Uh oh. One thing I feel like they probably should have made sure to do is maybe stand a little bit further from the puppet because if this is a training puppet, I'm assuming once they turn the key, it takes a little bit of time to activate it and then it goes into combat mode. Yes! I like how Kotetsu thinks. But isn't Tanjiro still injured? I love how he has the line ready for him too. <laughs> yeah, seaweed head. Wait, he's younger than Tanjiro? Why is this 10 year old? So good at training Tanjiro, despite not having any actual swordsman skills. <laughs> He's withholding food? When did he become Tanjiro's coach? This accelerates so quickly. Oh, 
Oh, that's cruel. Wait a second. Wasn't Tanjiro sent here because he can't be fully back into the full swing of combat yet? And he was here to get to the spa and heal and everything? If anything, he looks worse than when he showed up here. <laughs> this is so tragic. <laughs> Did he literally train almost to death? He couldn't even make it past the bridge. What? Fever dream is this? Did he reach enlightenment? I can't believe this training works. <laughs> Poor Tanjiro. Oh, I love Kotetsu's resolve. Oh, that makes me nervous. Ooh, on the tailbone. There's a hidden sword inside. I have a crazy theory, guys. I think Otetsu's ancestors made this doll to be broken. And whoever made it, made it with the hopes that they would surpass the original swordsman and use it to defeat the demons. And this will be Tanjiro's new sword. That is a disturbing sight though. Ah, she's so cute. And she loves cats. Yeah, I like her a lot more. How you know that Miss Hashira is an unpleasant person in general. Look at the guy behind him. Clearly not happy with him. The Miss Hashira smiling is weird. Who was that? Katana so, Kotetsu looks exactly like his mask. Let's go. Tanjiro now lives in fear of Kotetsu's training forever. Ah, I had such high hopes for being the Miss Hashira. But he's such a jerk. I mean, fine, he doesn't have any ill intentions. But it's so inconsiderate. And his crow's not very nice either. Probably learning it from him. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Miss Hashira so far, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you!